Hello everybody, I am Bratman19 and welcome to a brand new campaign in our Let's Learn of Europa Universalis 4. This one's going to be on France right here, otherwise known as the Big Blue Blob. Or, well, we will not be doing that in this campaign. We'll just be trying to learn how we play against the uh, Holy Roman Empire here. And without getting too involved in their stuff, and also be working on colonialization over here to the New World. As well as learning how to deal with England and some other little things like that. That's kind of my main focus here. Um, I don't want to get too involved in the HRE, and I don't want to get too blobby either. So uh, that's kind of where I'm going. Kind of want to let the game play itself, if I can. Uh, just kind of reacting to it. Anyway, so we start out with France, which is a kingdom rank with Western Technology Group, and they start out Catholic. Uh, I might decide to go Protestant later on. I don't know right now. It's not super high on my priorities, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, we start with King Charles VII de Valois, or de Valois. I'm not sure exactly how you say that one. Uh, he is a 424, and uh, we start out with French ideas, which French traditions. Uh, starting manpower modifier of plus 20, with diplomatic reputation of plus 1. Um, if we get all French ideas, we uh, get plus five uh, discipline added, which would be so cool to have. Uh, we have uh, French language in all courts, which is diplomatic relations plus one. Elon, which is morale of armies plus 20%. Estats General, which is national tax modifier plus 10%. Native trading principles, native uprising chance minus 50%. Native assimilation plus 50%, which is great. I'd, I love that one. Um... Vabon fortifications, fort maintenance is down 20%. The philo philosophs, technology cost is negative 10%. Liberty, egalite, fraternite, tolerance of her heretics plus 2, tolerance of heathens plus 2. So we start out pretty large. We're, we're one of the strongest nations at the very start of the game, which is also, you know, it's a great way to start off. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, let's go ahead and hit play and let's hop on in. Yeah, we're just going to do normal mode. We'll start doing Iron Man, uh, not this time, not the next time, but probably the time after that. Just what I'm thinking. Okay, Kingdom of France, 1444. The Hundred Years' War, which has torn France apart for over a century, is currently halted by a truce following a number of key French victories. With the support of Joan of Arc, since martyred at the hands of the English and the support of the rich Anjou, of the, of the rich Anjou family, Charles VII has proclaimed, reclaimed Paris and many of the French lands. Charles has also been acknowledged as a rightful king by the Dukes of Burgundy in the Treaty of Arras in 1435. However, the truce with, truce with England is tenuous. The English have still not relinquished their claim to the French throne, and one of the main demands of the new treaty, the surrender of Maine to France, has yet to materialize months later. While the Burgundians now passively support the French cause in the conflict with England, they are still a matter of concern for the French crown. They have grown their domains far beyond the borders of France into the lowlands and the Holy Roman Empire. It is said that the Duke, who is also one of the richest men in Europe, harbors dreams of a future kingdom based around his collected domains. A united France would be one of the richest and most densely populated regions in Europe if France could bring its many autonomous nobles to heel and drive the English once and for all from the continent. It would be one of the most powerful states on the continent. Free to pursue voyages of exploration and active foreign policy in Germany and the Low Countries or even an attack on the rich seas of northern Italy, where the imperial influence has been waning for centuries. Cool, cool, cool. So, of course, religion's Catholic. We are a kingdom. And basically just telling us a little about the area around us. Not a big deal. Anyway, so, here's where we start. We get this nice little area right here. Here's Paris way up there. Bordering with England, who still owns some t uh, territories, of course. So, uh, we're going to have to figure out how we want to do this. Eventually, there's going to be an event here for Maine. Uh, which, you know... We'll just have to deal with, I guess. Um, and we'll see how that works. Of course, we're going to want it back. So we know. I already know how I'm going to play that. Currently, our rivals are Denmark, which, yep, I will re-rival you. England. Yes. England. And Austria. Uh, don't really want it. I'm going to put Aragon instead. I want to go after... Hold on a second. Let me see something about Savoy. Savoy, are you... Yeah, they're part of the Holy Roman Empire. Dang it. For now, at least. Let's th yeah, that, that's a for now. Um, it'll be okay. Um, I'm going to make Aragon for now. 
I want to try to grab some of his land if I can. Um, no missions. Let's go ahead and do... I could say reclaim main now, but I want to get a royal marriage with Provence really quick. I know they're going to, he's going to be excommunicated, so I'll just have to take advantage of it while I can. Um, yeah, very first thing is that. I can't say anything else there. Um, see, I've got a, all these ships down here. I'm going to transfer them here. Those ships do me no good down there. It's not like I'm going to be fighting wars down here along on the sea too much. It's more against England up here. All right, let's go and get started. Time is starting. There we go. Got our royal marriage. Quick and pretty painless. Um, yeah, we'll do this one too. Go here to Lithuania. Prove relations with them. What else can I do? You're not ready yet. Um, let's start working to improve relations there. Let's improve relations with Navarre. Let's see if maybe we can try to quickly grab Navarre. Okay, I need to do this real quick. Best guess. There we go. All right. An alliance from Switzerland. Tell me about you, Switzerland. You are in the HRE. I don't really think I want anything to do with you. You're allied with Burgundy, so no thank you. Um, I'd like to work with Brittany one day, too. And I could vassalize him. Having vassals is going to be so great for us. We learned that in the uh, Ottoman campaign. Vassals contribute so much to our wars because I like to focus on the forts and they go focus on every little other thing out there. An alliance with Savoy. I, You know what? No. I'm not going to do that. Let's see. I'm making good money. Um... Allied with Castile have a royal marriage already too. Um, we can always become friends with Castile later. First thing is the royal Miriam. Okay. Um, we're gonna ally him next. Come on, 11th. There we go, we've allied him. He's improving with England, France, and Aragon. We're the only one improving opinion with him. So let's hope that works out to something. Um, whoops. Prove relations there. France gains a claim on Charlois. Yeah, let's do that. We're gaining a claim right here. We now want that territory. We're not going to go to war with Burgundy for it just yet, though. I could, I just don't want to. This is a good army already. I'm going to go ahead and add one, two, three, four, five, six to bring them up to 20. I think 20 is the limit. Let me check. Yes, it is. Let's add one. One, two, three. There we go. That should be good. We'll let these guys go ahead and get added up. Nice army increases before we go into war of any kind. Okay. Zero complaints so far. Everything is going just about the way I want it to go. Now, advisors. Could I afford one? I 
There you go. I'll start there. And the reason why I'm starting right there is because I want to use him. Uh, I want to get the military up first in case I have to go to war with England really fast. Okay, so Castile's working on it. But we're increasing a little bit more rapidly than they are. They're being influenced by Castile. Let's see if I can... Let's take this guy off Castile. I'm going to try something here. Influence the nation. There we go. That added them a little bit closer to us. Dynastic royal marriage with Castile. Then I'll go ahead and offer the alliance up. Come along. We want to go ahead and start building up favors and stuff. Yep, the, England's going to try to gain more of our territory. Proving relations with Brittany now. We've now allied, uh, now allied here. We're at 167 and we just got to keep hoping. Now we're at 170. Come along. We can maybe snag him. That That's what I'm trying to do. If I can snag him here, then that might even give us a chance with Aragon to do something, I think. Okay, we're at 176. We're doing more for this relationship than uh, Castile is. Ah, uh, Navarra became a vassal of Castile. All right, well, we tried. That's okay. Um, still have royal marriage with them, right? Are they allowed? Are even they, are they even allowed to do that? We're at 404, guaranteeing Scotland. I forgot all about Scotland. Uh, Navarra's royal marriage. Provence is a royal marriage and alliance. Castile's royal marriage and alliance. Um, it's okay. Let's do this. Let's try to get a little bit closer to Scotland. This is going to piss off uh, England some. It's just fine by me. Yeah, we'll offer up the Alliance, even though I probably should have gotten rid of that. Hmm. Stability drop. That sucks. Um, go ahead and bring it back to zero. It's not like we would have had huge uh, negative penalties right away, but it's, you know, always a good thing to go ahead and handle it. Prove relations. We're getting ready to get our thing done here with Lithuania. We're at plus 99. There it is. Okay. Reclaim main. Declare war. Okay, so... The Surrender of Maine. In exchange for accepting the Treaty of Tours in 1444, the, the County of Maine was promised to France. In practice, however, this has still not come to pass. The English have repeatedly evaded the question, and it is inc becoming increasingly clear that many in the English camp are argue or that the treaty would not be argument. Uh, excuse me, will not be honored. Excuse me. In one last attempt to force the question, 
Charles VII has approached the ca county capital, Le Mans, himself and demanded the surrender of the city. The local commander, however, shows no signs of intending to open the gates, despite not having a force strong enough to withstand an attack. Hmm. Time to teach them how to war. France takes control of France. We declare war. England declares war on France. With restoration of Union Casaspelli. Yep, there it goes. Alright. Not the worst thing to happen to us. Let's go ahead. We have a couple of great generals. Jean Barreau, you're going to go down here first. Because I want to take Laborde. You're going to go right there. Alright, sending these guys on in to start doing this. There's Navara, who, for some reason, is honoring that. Oh, and Castile. Ah, yeah, okay. Look at all these people coming down here to help me. If I can get them up here... Let's see what we can do. Now, I could play a lot and mess up England really bad by taking parts of, like, Ireland from them. Which would be fun, don't get me wrong, I'd like to do that, but I'll have to wait off on it for a little bit. What do you know? Episode 1, and we already have a war in the first episode. Not bad. Not, not a bad way to start off a series, if you ask me. And because of our friends here, which here comes Lorraine. Didn't even know I was friends with them. What? Yeah, England's gonna run over Scotland, though. That's the unfortunate part about this whole mess. And we don't have a big enough navy to help out clearing this so I could jump across and grab their capital or anything. Yep, there's Provence up here trying to take that, cap that fort of Calais from them. It's okay. If if Scotland doesn't give up too quickly, we can maybe fix this a little bit. Come along. Let's let's get it done. Just wondering if I vassalized them, why wouldn't they do it? French economic base, distance between borders, okay. I just think it'd be kind of cool to vassalize Scotland, too. But it's not going to happen. As you see, Scotland's already taken pale. Come on, let's knock these down a little bit further. I wish I could get these other armies off of me. That's at seven. That's at zero. Okay. He's almost. He's at negative seven already on his own. Now he's at fourteen percent. What? What kind of commander does he have? Only a one siege. Okay. One zero zero one, and he's doing better than us. Well, better than this guy. He's a level one though too. Four three three one. I have some OP generals here at the start. Okay, 42%, 7%, 28 percent Siege of is now done. Let's move this guy off of it. That's at 14 percent. Up there goes Calais. Well, let's take Normandy. Up, oh, Burgundy's declared war against uh, England too, which there's nothing for them to take right now. If they could maybe contribute their ships, though, we'd be very 
very thankful for that. Except, yes. Okay. I'm not at war with... Uh, who is it? Okay. Let's try to hurry up and... Ah, uh, I can't grab that. Be nice to like go ahead and fight and get a little bit of this though. Just so I can maybe you know help out and push England out before long. I think that would be a good start though. Get war reps from him. Hmm. Oh, release, releasing nations will be great. Yeah, release Cornwall. Now we're going to have to let this war go on a little bit longer. We have to count the sea, do the siege uh, ticks up. Maybe we can get them to cross. That'd be kind of cool. We would hope he doesn't ever get Lothlian. Or if he can attack down here or something. There goes Castile doing a naval fleet. Ooh, it's an omen. We'll just have to drop that. I hate that. If I can bring my men up to there. Um. Uh, come on. Break out of there. Get out of there. Dang, that was stupid. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention, that's what I get. War of the Roses has popped on him. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's really funny. I wish it would have popped up a little bit sooner. Not a fan of this guy singing at all. Brent gains core on Rathel. Brent gains core on Nevers. Oh wait, Burgundian secession crisis. Holy crap, this is happening right now. Um, the death of the la of the last Duke of Burgundy has made the future of the country uncertain. Neighboring countries and those connected by royal mar marriages are already circling the opportunity to intervene. This is, there's even talk about the Emperor wanting to incorporate the remains into his lands. However, no matter how great the Duke of Burgundy's power grew, there was never any dispute that the Duchy of Burgundy itself laid under Francis' Salic law. If we act now, no other country will be able to take it by any claim of marriage. It rightfully belongs to us. That's what happened. Austria got that area, and we got this area. Okay. Wow, that's a really good first. <laughs> that's a really good first uh, episode, if you ask me. I got free land.
I could give up the right for main. And still get war reps. Couldn't make you in your stuff with Portugal, though. Hmm, Bordeaux, Laborde, which would take away a complete front. I just have this stuff to deal with. And I'd get Pale. And with Pale, I could do some stuff with Ireland and... Yeah. That would cost me 69. I'd really just love Maine just to say I got it. Do it. I don't like the deal so much. And I could have stayed in it longer, but I didn't want to mess with Scotland any more than I had to. And I want to impale what just seemed like such a great thing to take, so... Uh, let's take you off, select your unit, let's bring you down here. Uh, make core pale. I gotta get up there, though. Let's take... Uh, let's cross with a leader. Um, let's do this. Uh, where's my button? That's what I wanted. I'm taking eight troops up there. Okay, let it go. Come on, let's knock him out. Good job. Okay. Let's sail back down here. I'm ready to make it a core. There we go. Now it's a core of mine. Go ahead and transfer, transport everybody over. Let's take Jean Bro off of it. I uh, don't think so. I like a Castile, but I don't want to give you access to my lands right now. See where England's having to fight all these guys off. Okay, we'll let Prov Provence do it though. Provence has subjects of its own. Who's its own subject? Oh, Lorraine. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. All right. Got pale now, so we got a nice little inroad here. Hmm. Oh, I lost Navarre. Who's the strongest one here? Let's see, if I improve relations... Let me do it with Leinster. That, that'd be a good way to knock off uh, England from being able to get anybody. And what I'm doing here is I'm getting ready to fight and take uh, 
more of this land through here. Let's see, estates are demanding clergy. The clergy, where are you going to go? Let's see. That looks good. There you go, you can take that. The idea being I'll just take over all this, all of Ireland, and then I'll be bordering Scotland too. So we can take Ulster, and uh, yeah, with Leinster and Ulster gone, we should be in great shape. Brittany's opinion of France, yes. We do want Brittany to eventually become a vassal of ours. And these English pretender rebels are doing that, that's fine. I don't have anything here. All right, guys, I'm going to end it right here, though. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Uh, we got quite a bit done in this episode, but next time we'll see if we can get a whole lot more. So, all right, guys, for y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out Discord, and I will see you all next time.